Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a big old Dollar Tree haul for you. It's a decent size haul, for sure. Alex is joining us today. I don't know where Wellington went, probably upstairs. He's sleepy today. He goes to the vet tomorrow for his yearly checkup, but it's stressful for us both. All right, Dollar Tree haul, mixed bag, good finds, a lot for Christmas. I picked this up. I am not 100% sure what's gonna happen to this. Ugh, let me put this down, hold on. But there's gonna be some DIYing because it doesn't go with, my, I'm thinking my kitchen. I might do this in that mint green color. Um, yeah, and then leave the Merry and Bright, or I could take the Merry and Bright off and do the center in pink. I don't know, we'll see, but I definitely think this outer I'm gonna to have to do several coats. Is gonna get painted a that mint green. And this was in the plus section. Ugh, stickers. Why? Why with the stickers? Always. Anyway, five dollars. Thumbnail. Um, I'll pick this off obviously before I paint it. But I definitely needed some height on my shelves in my kitchen. And since I'm going with this whole pink and mint green nutcracker thing, I, um, there we go. I liked the height of this and I like the simplicity. I was originally thinking, and it might happen, putting Christmas bulbs all around it, but maybe not. We'll see. But I got that. I have a bunch, a bunch, I have a fair amount of stocking candy. Um... This dinosaur gummies is for Sarah's boyfriend for his advent calendar. I'll show you. What I like is the individual little packages and they're just little packs of gummies. He'll get some of these, some chocolates in his advent. Um, I found something new this year. Hold on, I gotta get the candy out. Oh, and this is for Michael also. He just likes plain sanitizer. That will go in an advent for him with some candy. So if you don't know an advent, I do 24 nights of treats and candies and little things. So that's, when I say it's for the advent, that's what it's for. Okay, so my, bro, my sister-in-law, so Sarah's mom, who's divorced from my brother, but she's still my sister-in-law, husband I got him some freeze-dried candy and I got him a chamoy pickle kit so you take a hot pick a pickle there's some chamoy and seasonings and candy and you eat it so I got him that but one of the freeze-dried things was these nerd gummies so I'm going to stick this in um with his gift so I picked those up this is a little add-in um, I have not seen these. These have got to be new as far as I am concerned. And I'm not sure what I'm doing with them. But it's a three pack. Is that upside down? No. It is a three count of uh, Girl Scout Thin Mint Chocolate Spoons to put in your hot cocoa. What? So I grabbed a three pack because these are great for stockings. Um... Or like I can bring to work and put on my coffee bar or whatever. So I grabbed three packs. I These are new to me at my store, 100%. These candies are not new to me. And these are for stockings. I got the Godiva Milk Chocolate Caramel and the Godiva Chocolate Domes. These will go in stockings for Sarah and Megan. Or Sarah and Megan. Sarah and Michael. And then in their little advent boxes, I hope this fits in Sarah's. I got them some Nutella. So each of them will get a little jar. I hope this will fit. It should fit in Sarah's little box. If not, I'll make it for their stockings. But what I should do is say, here's all the stocking candy. But I'll just put it all together. Advent stuff. This is my favorite time of year, guys. I know you're aware of that, but... This week, I'm on vacation. And so I'm going to be putting together all the advent calendars and stuff like that. Okay, what's in here? We got, oh, tissue paper, just some white for the dog's advent, I think. And I got these bags, but I, I've decided they might be too big. 
However, I could probably put the bones in, fold them in half and tie them like that maybe. I got them some bones. So I grabbed enough of these treat bags just to put their treats in for their advent because they they need an advent too. Um, so nothing exciting. And then I got some gift labels. I really like these. And I think they'll go with my theme this year. I mean, let's look at that pink have a cup of cheer. Can we please? So I think these are going to be good. I just needed some gift tags. I think I was out last year. And usually I grab this 60 pack when I see it because they go fast. So just as a heads up to you, if you think you're going to need gift labels this year, I would say grab them when you see them because they don't stick around. You will always be able to find a gift label, but I like those. So that's what I went with. Um, I think I showed this to you, maybe. The coffees that I picked up for my gifts for my work people. These are, I did show these to you. Okay, never mind. I have four of those. You've seen them. I'm telling you, my life is a disaster, guys. Okay, now. Oh, I got some other... This is for me to wrap presents. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? The Christmas tree within the neutral. And then I think I grabbed two packs of this. And this is just bright colors of gift wraps. Just for clothing. I like to put tissue in there. Now, I got this. And I feel like I got one last year, but I don't remember if I used it. But for those of you who, um, like me, I change out my pillows and I have sets of pillows, but I thought this was super fun. And it just says baked fresh gingerbread baking. Guys, these have a zipper bottom. You just put a pillow form in here. If you have one, I would say, I'm not thinking this is a 16. Yeah, you'd want a 16 by 16 pillow form. This is a 15.78, so it would be nice and plump. But you know what? If you don't have a pillow form, unzip it and stuff it. Stuff it with anything you want. You can take an old bed pillow and stuff it. You can take, I saw somebody use plastic bags, like their plastic grocery bags and stuff one of these pillows. Like you can put all kinds of stuff in these pillows and make them plump and stick them on your couch. And I don't think these are a terrible quality. I like it. I think this is a new design this year, but not a new concept. They have had these before. I'll just sit them next to me. Uh, what else is in that bag? Oh, so I saw this on Sarah Jane on Chic on the Cheap. She bought these little bells and spray painted them and hung them, took off the greenery and she hung them on her mantle. But she, um, which you could just leave it like this, but I want to take them and spray paint them and then hang three of them on my mantle with some new garland that I got from Timu. But you want, they have this one and then they have one that's straight and then they have one that's textured. But I like the little bit of detail in the shape of this one. And I got three of these. Which, I mean, you can just hang this from your mantle. Just like that. Get a hook if you have a mantle or a place where you hang your stockings. You can hang that in between and just hang it. I'm going to take them apart. And then I'll hang them from strings. Because they're going to hang at three different levels. Like that off my mantle. I saw it on Pinterest with much more expensive items. Um, if you don't want to DIY them yourself, right now Target has them in white. They're $5 a piece though. I'm wearing a new shirt that I got from my cat lady box. And it's a nutritional label for cat owners. I know. Um, I'm dying. This is new. It is the most wonderful time of the year, guys. Um, I'm going to say this holds 16 ounces, if I had to guess. Maybe 20. It is a double wall cup. Right? I'm going to take it to the Schottenstein Center with me when I drink my water while I'm working. It's glittery. Now, I'm sure there'll be some fun people out there who will figure out how to take it apart. 
I think it's painted on the outside and then the glitter paper is on the inside. And then they had one that said joy, I think with the red. But I just think this is fantastic. It is not dishwasher safe. It is definitely hand wash only, which is fine. I have melted my share of these Dollar Tree cups, but I love it. And it's got glitter. So I grabbed that. I'm loving this whole line of it's the most wonderful time of the year. Um, I wasn't remembering if I had this, so I grabbed it. It is everything, guys. That white has glitter in it. If you, you, you probably can't see, but the white snowflakes, it's a glitter paint, and it's a nice, hefty glass. Um, this is Crystal brand. Um, I don't know if I can wash it in the dishwasher, so I probably won't. But I love a nice spiced mulled wine in the wintertime. And I thought the snowflakes lent itself through all of winter. So I just got the one for me. Nice and heavy duty. Um, stockings. They had these little Santa bombs. So it's a chocolate can you see it in there? Santa Claus. And then when it opens up, there's marshmallows inside. And then I remembered that Miss Sarah doesn't, my niece is vegetarian and these marshmallows are not. So yeah, there's gelatin. So I will give these probably to my cousins. I'll take them to my cousin's house and they can, my little cousin can make hot cocoa with them. I got these hot hands to take with me to the shot and scene center. I mean to football and I forgot them yesterday and it was cold. I'll take them next weekend. Just a two pack of hot hands. Uh, my stadium that I work at for men's or for uh, OSU football is outside and it's cold. So I'll bring both packs and then I can share with a teammate. Oh, snacks that I didn't eat. Um, I'm gonna be doing a DIY here shortly this week. Um, and I got Christmas lights. I needed the plug-in ones, but the small, and these are five feet and they're green. This is exactly what I wanted. I could have got them in color, but I'm making the frame. It's a frame, basically. It's going to go up over my monitors. I'm making it in, um, all different bright colors, like a Cindy Lou Who situation. So I just needed two sets of lights that won't be too long for it. So hopefully these work. If not, I'll go get a hundred set. These are 20. Or I can get a third set. I picked these up for my pottery class. I'm not sure if I will need them or if they will be fun, but we're gonna open them. I know we use, I mean, I can use anything I want to decorate and make textures. And that's kind of what I'm thinking with these. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's flex, it's for fondant, but it's flexible enough for me to flatten out my pottery. This one has an angle to it and it, it's a nice curve. And then this one has the textured comb. If I want to like texture something up. Oh, I'm excited to try these. And I like that they're kind of cheap enough, if that makes sense, that they are flexible for pottery. Because that's what I need when I, so we do something that's, you go like this, and it is to um, flatten the clay. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. I'm excited, maybe I should get a set for Sarah. I'll just share with Sarah. She likes me to share with her. So we got that, which I thought was exciting. We need some coffee. Guys, my house is a disaster. Oh, and this is, I grabbed a bunch of these, but I used some. I'm gonna be using these when I make my, um, this, my frame for my work, for my desk at work. And I need these to attach stuff to the piping. That will be a whole video. That, um, this cup, and these all came from the same, the same line. And I love it. I love the color. And I like this as well. And I think this is great. It's a charger plate. So you would stick a real plate on top. And I think you definitely don't want to eat off of this. And you do not want to. 
says for decorative use, not food safe. So you don't want to put food on here. Now this is interesting to me because I'm wondering, not recommended for microwave or dishwasher. So this it says the charge plate, it's not food safe. So these are not food safe. So if I was gonna display some food, I would put like a piece of parchment under the food or stick bowls on here of some sort and have it out as a decoration because these are decorative only, but they're so pretty. Also, you could like line them up down the middle of your tray and put candles and stuff in them, but I thought they were really pretty. So I grabbed them. Let's see what I can use them for. Sometimes at Christmas, I will use this and put my spices on it on my counter or like my, my coffee station, something like that. Put my like coffee canisters, that type of thing. So that is everything. Let me make sure. That is everything I got at the Dollar Tree this week. I hope you enjoy. I'm, I have seen some things that I really want, but I haven't seen them in my stores yet. So happy hunting, everybody, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will talk with you later.